hi and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to share with you guys how to join ashoke for gile so if you're not nigerian and you don't know what gile is gile is what this lady currently has on her head so this is the color of ashoke that i'll be joining in this video so this particular ashoke came in four pieces some usually come in three pieces it just depends though so i've gone ahead to change my machine tray to this color and without further ado let's jump right into the video so like i said i have four pieces of the asho k so i'm going to start by joining two of them first so i'll keep the other two aside and this thread happens to be what i had close to the color of the asho k so to join the first two layer, you're going to bring them together by the side. Now, you're going to gently overlap one layer over the second one like this. And you're going to start sewing. So I'm done sewing and you can see that the edge is uneven so I just went to trim off the excess there and the first set is ready so we'll be moving on to the next set. So I have the next set here so I'll basically just be joining them like the first set so we are going to bring them together by this side and you're going to gently overlap one over the other and you're going to start sewing all the way to the other edge So I'm just going back in to make the edge to be even. Now the next set is ready. So we need to combine the first and second set together to get the complete look we are going for. So we are going to um, overlap the first set over the second set. And you're basically just going to sew to the end. So joining Ashoke is literally not hard as you can see from what I am doing. So after sewing, I just went back in to trim off the excess I have around the edge. So you can see the edge is raw and this fabric tends to free a lot. So what I'll be doing next is to fold the edge twice like this and I would make a straight stitch from one edge to the other edge. So I'm done with this side. I would basically repeat the same thing on the other edge of the 
fabric. So I would fold the edge twice like this and make a stitch from the top to the bottom. So after sewing the edge, the gele is ready. It's as simple as A, B, C and D. And you can go ahead and tie it or style it however you want. So here are different variations and styles in which gele is usually tied or can be tied. So if this video has helped you in any way, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel.